Here are the pros and cons of doing Airbnb. One, you get higher rent. When you do Airbnb, you're gonna get higher rent than you actually get from you doing long term. For example, like a typical house, you can probably get by $4,000 a month in Seattle. But if you do Airbnb, you can probably get up to like $8,000 a month. So you're gonna make better cash flow doing Airbnb, no question about it. Number two, tenant. When you do Airbnb, you're gonna have tenant go move in and out, in and out, like a hotel business. If that's what you want, great. Or you do a long term, you put them in one time at market value, and then they basically stay for a long time. I've tenant with me now for like 10 years. Three, active versus passive. Look, if you do Airbnb, it is an active business, okay? You gotta oversee your staff, oversee your people, and you gotta run it like a business, which is fine. Now, long-term rent tenant, okay, you put a good tenant in it and you let it pretty much ride. You put a property manager and they oversee it and you are good to go. So now you weigh out the pros and the cons. You figure out which works best for you for your lifestyle.